This is my February 2017 Arizona two gun match video. I competed in armored division using my Ferro Concepts plate carrier with United Armory steel plates. I think steel plates make a lot of sense from a uh, training and match perspective if you need to wear them. They're not going to get uh, damaged or wear out. They're actually heavier, so you're uh, training harder than if you're wearing ceramic plates. I used my KE15 uh, Scout carbine, which is a 14 and a half inch barrel with a permanently attached muzzle device. So you have the Surefire X300 at 12 o'clock where I like it, and the uh, Aimpoint Micro, which is uh, perfectly adequate for me out to about 300 yards. Uh, the handgun I use is my KE19 Charlie uh, Stealth Special with the uh, Leupold Delta Point Pro. Uh, it is a comped barrel and it has the Surefire X300 on there, which uh, even in daytime I like having it on there for the added mass to reduce uh, muzzle flip further. I didn't get sick at SHOT Show this year, however I did come down with a respiratory infection that some other people brought into the office this week. So I definitely wasn't at my uh, physical best going into this match. But with the right amount of motivation and mental fortitude, I was able to push through the stages and perform uh, very well, particularly given my physical condition going into the event. The first stage you're going to see is a handgun only stage. The shooter was required to carry a kettlebell in their support hand while engaging the paper pistol targets with the other hand. The scoring system at this match is different in that you have to get enough points on the target for it to be considered neutralized, which if you're shooting in the uh, center of mass with a pistol is at least three rounds, potentially four, and if you're shooting in the head it's at least two clean headshots to get to those ten points required. So given that we had to carry the kettlebell with us and it could be set down to reload, I didn't want to reload. I thought the most efficient way to do this would be to just get two headshots and everything. And given that there were no forward fault lines on the stage, the thing that made the most sense to me was to run up to each target and simply shoot them twice in the head. Not very challenging skill-wise, but being able to adapt to the particular scoring system and uh, conditions on each stage from match to match is a uh, valuable skill to have. The second stage was a rifle pistol combination stage, however, looking at the stage combined with the uh, scoring system, it made the most sense to me to immediately ground the rifle and go to pistol only. Uh, moving back and forth with the rifle in the rifle shooting area, then going to pistol uh, seemed to be a waste of time, so I went to pistol right away and shot the stage clean, which not many people did. The third stage I shot was a rifle stage that required us running up a hill to engage some close range paper, then further up the hill to two different positions to shoot steel at 100 to 200 yards. I was a little worried about this stage uh, given my respiratory condition. However, um, something came to mind I learned from Benny Cooley years ago. He said you can either be uncomfortable for 15, 20, 30 seconds, or you can be comfortable for the rest of your life. So I apply that uh, will to win mentality when I'm on a stage like this and just go all out while I'm on the stage and then recover afterwards because there's plenty of time to do that between stages.
Hit. 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 Safe and move. The fourth and final stage was a uh, rifle only stage with a single target at about 80 or 90 yards. We had to get two hits on it from each position. I had some initial uh, difficulty getting settled out of my sights on the stage, but it got better as the stage went on. Good. Good. She's fire.